Hi and welcome back again. In the last video we saw how we could interpret a distance versus time graph. Let's have a bit of a look at a speed versus time graph and see if we can do the same sort of thing with it. Let's try to break it into the little parts where motion changes. So whenever the motion of the object changes we'll make a new section and we'll answer each of the sections as we go through. So how about we try that? All right, this looks tricky. We've got a speed in meters per second on the vertical or up and down axis, this one. And then we've got a time on this one. Notice I haven't put the last time in and you should be able to do that yourself based upon what is already written there. Okay, now each one of these I've put a box around to help us out. So let's look at the first 10 seconds. Now this is a object moving in a particular way. We should be able to describe it. So let's look at it. If it's speed, it starts off slowly and then gradually quickens up, quickens up, quickens up, quickens up. Okay, so in the first 10 seconds, we start off at zero speed it starts off slowly, increasing speed, and then increases much faster in the last bit. And at 10 seconds, it is travelling at 10 metres per second. Not that hard. Right, it changes motion at 10 seconds. So what happens at 10 seconds? Well, we have this. And the flat line in the speed time tells us that it is not changing speed. It stays at 10 metres per second between time 10 seconds after the start and times 15 seconds after the start. So for five seconds it stays the same speed. Right, then it changes motion again. As it goes up here between 15 and 20 seconds we see it goes from 10 meters per second to a speed of 16. Now look, that's tricky. Our eyes will sometimes play tricks on us the students who rush through this would see that that is 15. They would think, oh no, it's 15, but it's really 16. So it goes from 10 to 16 in 5 seconds, between time of 15 after the start to 20 after the start. Now what does a straight line mean? All right? A straight line in a speed time graph was at constant speed. Maybe this could be constant acceleration. What do you think? Then let's go to the last 10 seconds. Again, I move the green box. And we see in the last 10 seconds it goes from 16. It quickly slows and then starts to slow down at the end until it reaches a speed of zero. So it comes to a stop again at 30 seconds. So that's how we could go through a nice little speed time graph and tell the person what it means.